Yo, what's up, guys? The Celtics and the Mavericks finished game two last night. And it might as well be a wrap for the Dallas Mavericks. The Celtics took another win. Now the Celtics are leading the series in the finals 2-0. The Celtics, they looked like the unstoppable team. I could say the Mavericks... They they held it in their own in the first half, but during the second half, those that was the Celtics half. Celtics owned the Mavericks. Celtics had 29 assists compared to Mavericks 21 assists. If you ask me, that's a big margin for a differential. The ball movement was on key for the Celtics. They were hitting their shots, shot around 45% from the field, which is excellent, excellent. And they had good scoring from all their players. The Mavericks, th some more shots. Uh, you know, I think my turnovers and my missed free throws cost us a game. Uh, so I got to do way better in those two categories. Uh, but uh, at the end of the day, we got to make shots to win them, to win the game. The eight turnovers, which is crazy, crazy. You don't expect Luka Doncic to have eight turnovers. He's a magician with the ball. The same as Kyrie. And... An uh, but he kept getting the ball kept getting stolen from Luka Doncic. The Celtics were owning Luka. They, they were playing on their defensive prowess, and the Celtics played like the Celtics the whole game through. They didn't get tired. They kept playing with 100% effort. And the Mavericks, it looked like they didn't they didn't want it enough. The Celtics clearly want it a lot more. That's why they're leading the series 2-0 at this point. The Mavericks, they need to win at home, both schemes. Because if they go down 3-0, I'd say even if they go down 3-1, the Celtics might as well just close the door right there, after the, right after the next game. As I said before, the Celtics, they aren't best at closing out games, but this year it's, it's different. Celtics are a dominant team. They've been cruising in these playoffs so far. And now they're on their way to win the NBA Finals against the Dallas Mavericks. Jason Tatum had 12 assists, which is excellent. He doesn't have to score above 20 points. He had 18 points, which is perfect. Look at the Tatum. Look at Jason Tatum and the way he's moving the ball and persisting. He clearly cares so much about his team. And he's going to do whatever it takes necessary for the team to win. Whether it's passing the ball or whether it's scoring. In different situations and I like how Jason Tatum is playing. Luka Doncic is turning the ball over too much. Might score score a lot of points, score a lot of assists, but th those turnovers are going to make a big difference. It's going to give a confidence boost to the Boston Celtics and they're going to keep scoring, keep defending, playing with a thousand percent confidence in a high mental state because the Mavericks can't change that. They, they couldn't really do much. PJ Washington had another solid game. It's not going to change anything. Kyrie Irving was a big, big no-no. Kyrie Irving shot 7 for 17, had around 17 points. And Kyrie is not playing like Kyrie. He clearly needs some more backup. And Kyrie, bro, you need to step up. Because in the first two games, you haven't proved yourself at all. You haven't even proved that you're worthy to be a part of these NBA Finals as playing in the Finals. Of course, what, what leading up to that, you played excellent. Uh, during that, uh, the one series, it was the, it was a series before the Timberwolves. It was the OKC series. Um, the Kyrie didn't have an excellent game either. And that was P when PJ Washington stepped up and Kyrie is not stepping up again. And I had a feeling this was going to happen because of the excellent defense by the Celtics. They're going to be all over the floor, not going to really allow too much space. But I saw it. Kyrie was going to be able to cruise through the paint a little bit, but he's not shooting very efficiently. Uh, the Celtics are owning territory and doing what the Celtics do and playing great defense and turning that into offense. As well as Drew Holiday, man, played amazing. Had like 28 points, was a leading scorer for the Boston Celtics. He's an elite defender, in, in my opinion. He's better than Lou Dort. People will argue that Lou Dort is the best defender, but I don't agree with it. I think it's Drew Holiday. He's he's proven himself over the years of being a defender that nobody wants to handle the ball around because he's going to either take that away or he's going to be all over you. not really going to get a good shot off against Drew Holiday. Same was his, his shot selection was good. He got some points in the paint, and he was, put, he was playing like Drew Holiday does, scoring 
shooting some threes. He does have a nice jump shot. I will say that, especially when he catches some fire. Drew Holiday can be a beast because you already know about his defense. And when you see him cooking on offense, it's GG's. You know, you know the team that Drew Holiday is on, it's going to win. It's going to take over. And Derek White was amazing. I can't talk enough good things about the Celtics team. Derek White had a big, huge block. I think it was also with Jason Tatum, if I'm not mistaken, on P.J. Washington during the end of the game. And that's what closed it out for the Celtics. And they were able to get the win with 105-98 being the final score. Then Peyton Pritchard made that crazy buzzer beater at the end of the third quarter. And even though it, like a buzzer beater is just a quick shot, it sure boosts the team confidence. And I'm not going to lie, if I see my teammate make a deep three-pointer for the buzzer beater, I'm going to be hyped up. And I'm not going to want that to let that lead go. I'm going to keep pushing forward, and I'm going to play to the best of my ability. That's how it is. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'm thinking the Celtics are going to win in five at this point. I see the Mavericks taking one game at home. But at this point, I don't want to change my prediction, but I'm just going to do it anyway. Because originally I said the Celtics in seven. Now I don't even see the Mavericks have what it takes. Now we'll see that being at home court can definitely take the advantage to a whole another level to the other team, which is at home. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Remember to subscribe. I'm doing a giveaway at 2,000 subscribers. And I love you guys.